I'm a family physician and I've been practicing for 26 years now. I had the opportunity nine years ago to devote my whole practice to treating ADHD and mainly treating ADHD in adults. I got tired of having patients come in and they're overwhelmed and they're anxious and I put them on a medicine like for anxiety and then they come back and say it didn't work, it didn't do a thing. You know, so medicine didn't work. I start asking questions, you know, and then I hear something that makes me think, well, that sounds kind of like ADHD. Maybe we should treat that. It was really important to make sure that we got the diagnosis right. When I was just using the ASRS, uh, obviously it's a rating scale, it's subjective data. Even when I showed somebody their results, if they, if they really didn't think they had ADHD, it took a lot more convincing because they, they could just say, oh, well, I just answered, I, I would answer this one differently. For people who have ADHD, it's not until they're in their 30s that they can accurately estimate their level of impairment. So a lot of times people will underestimate their level of impairment. And so one of the big things that really helped was, was having QB with us. We went from the 22nd to, um, to being at the office and the 23rd to working from home. And now, now we have all these new patients who are, who are booked in the future, but now we're not in the office. So how are we gonna do, how are we gonna do a QB test on them? So that's when we talked to QB about what we could do and what, you know, what options. And there's a telehealth option that we could use and we've been using QB check. We haven't really stopped even though we're working from home. So one of the things that we try to do is reduce barriers for people to, to get a diagnosis and to, to start treatment and so that they can, so their lives can start changing. So having a telehealth option, it also opened up doors for other people who wouldn't necessarily have driven all the way to our office. People who are still in our state, but are still five hours away, they could get an evaluation and they get the same treatment that people who were in our office get. We weren't restricted to just seeing patients in our area, now it opened up the world to us.